Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. Standing by, call the action. Here are Brandon God and Charles Davis. Coach, we're just a stone throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. for third down. Shotgun now for Lance. And that one got him knocked away. And incomplete. It was 
there's Logan Ryan that time who knocked it away. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that, they might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Let's go. lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 15. Just like that. Just like that. A shotgun snap for goal. That's complete to Kyle. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. All right, let's look at the offense. Devontae Freeman, this is a guy that you wanted to talk about, so take it away. Brandon, have you seen a running back play with such joy as well as such fury? I love the way he runs the football and attacks defenses. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Check the backer, check the backer. Out of the gun, they get the Freeman. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Time to peek at the defensive starters. Here they are for Philadelphia. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And that play right there shows exactly why they're so good against the run. Held the line of scrimmage, held the point of attack, and stuffed him for no gain. Black 20! Off play action. Here's Golf. They're able to find Higby. It's complete. And they'll get it all the way up go, about boys. five Let's yards go. shy of midfield. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner with good timing. You get a completion as we just saw there. This is Freeman on first and ten. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards on the pickup. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball while they told us need to get him going. Runs like that. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the save. waiting for them to get there first because the momentum they carried from last week, unbelievable. They had a snowman, eight sacks. You were surprised that it took this long, and this isn't that long, truthfully. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you've seen that on tape, your offensive line is going to have to ask for help. Tight end has to stay in. If you use a fullback, keep him in. Make sure you have extra people to try to keep your quarterback upright. Didn't work on that play. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one. A third and one. Caught by Kyle. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so sure. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yards to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, please. Throwing on second and eight. Wentz. The head Jackson to play. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. 23 yards to pick up there. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? Well, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders. And Deshaun Jackson made a big time return all the way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' side. Nice play, The numbers for Sanders last week, 22 carries, up over 130 yards and a touchdown. So, partner, you know, two games worth. And down he goes. 
as they bring down Wentz on the sack. Aaron Donald with a sack. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been remarkable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. Yeah, a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. From the gun, it's Wins. And the pressure gets to him again. Aaron Donald able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down in the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs. They covered well, allowed for the sacks. So does it a nickel in your kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel. That's all I paid. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Down to the inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Go, so come on! Number 53, Mike 53! Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Cut. On first down, gone. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. The pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. The numbers a week ago for Cup. Four catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown. Better tighten up the coverage if you expect to slow this guy down because if he gets going, they'll eat you up. Running right, this is Freeman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. Not that they bottled up. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Off to Woods as the Rams move the chains. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to go to pick up first downs, and you tend to style them out when you do that. Goff's throw here finds Woods. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. That's a gain of 13, first down Rams. Now a first down throw, Goff. They'll get this with a cut complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They run, Devontae Freeman. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rush is just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now, number seven of this drive, but it's a tough Let's third and nine. Out of the gun. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. He's on to punt for L.A. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard line. Not too bad. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it. Every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Wentz on the give to Sanders. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. And Jeffrey's got it. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Trying to lay one up deep. This is caught inside the 15. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. That's an execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. David Long, the rookie from West Virginia, there defensively. After the incomplete pass here, that is second and ten. They'll run it, Sanders. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. The Eagles on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Working from the gun, Wentz. Man open, it's Goodwin. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The completion good for only six, and then bring up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now the Rams getting set to go now. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe hit on the short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best player and get out of the way. The stress on the offense. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. They'll run on first down. Freeman looking for a seam, but finding none. We'll get back to a lot of scrimmage, and that's it. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On second down, Freeman. And an alley to run. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 16 yards is the pickup there. And a first down for LA. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had pointed out the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. From the 50, it's gone. Caught by Cup, and he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. A nice gain of 21 yards. Goff now, only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far, it's first and 10. 
Here's gone. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. A gain there of 12 on, yards and a first down L.A. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, then able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness already wins the round. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it will be second down. So I'm going to pose this question to you. How do you get to be the number two defense against the rush in the NFL? You better than number three, I guess. <laughs> okay. And they plays like that, right? <laughs> well, you know, you're right. At its basic, be better than number three, but you're really nailed it. It plays like that on a consistent basis. Really good defensive effort there all over that one. Swing pass out to the right side before Walsh yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm. But he did it. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a here touchback, here and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading out to the field again. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going back. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. Just say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the combo nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here's Matt Wild now, as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. Flexing his muscle at the 30. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Let's go! Time will join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he's going to be taken down. Got the sack. 
Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important Shut third down. On third down, Devontae Freeman. Just a one yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Now the Eagles will lose the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And he gets this away. Look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. It's time for our player spotlight right now as we get a look at Carson Wentz. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. And he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a game of 16 and an eagle first down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. That throw good for four. It's second down. Three yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To throw, it's Wentz. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Now we're here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Throwing now is Wentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And these guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something that feels somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll start with one of those classic NFL matchups, the Giants hosting Chicago at MetLife Stadium. And it's the Giants who are leading comfortably at halftime. Saquon Barkley. A touchdown run in that first half. From there, we move to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City to see what's going on with the Chiefs. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Tampa Bay Bucks. Paul Richardson, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's check in at our nation's capital, see what's happening with the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. And they were losers in their ball game to the visiting Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. Meanwhile, in our game, not a lot of offense to go around. 7-3 is our score. Will we see things open up in the second half? To find out, we get it back to our guys in the booth, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Carson 
Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting set to take over. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe you've got to figure out how do we get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. On play action, it's Woods. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Aaron Donald able to record his fifth sack of the season. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. Now Wentz, caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. But they have a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Yeah, just a little short, though, with that marker. And he's got a first down and inside the midfield. The 30, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his third touchdown now on the year. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. It certainly worked, but that was a gutsy call to go for it on fourth and short. Yeah, not sure I would have made that call, but give them a ton of credit for deciding to go for it and not only doing it, but doing it in fine fashion. Takes me back to this summer when we were touring camps. Remember we watched them practice, and they worked hard in these situations, and they blocked it up perfectly. And defensively, they were so worried about the line of scrimmage. Once he got past that first wave of tacklers, goodbye. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10-7. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and those creases that they were able to exploit right there. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Let's go. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and broad. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On first down, it's Freeman. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Play three of the drive now is successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Let's go. 180. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Coming in. Go, go, From the midfield strike, go, go. they look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jamar Avery will go as a 
loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. It's a one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tackle to third and long. Over the middle, that's held in by Cup. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. The cornerback, it's Logan Lyon who brings him down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now wins. That's complete to a speedy wide out Goodwin. Yeah, he's upended after a game of four up to the 25 yard line. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no game. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. These guys have played their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from a trainer right now from all the work he's getting. On second and seven, Goff. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes to pick up a 32 on the catch and run. Tell you what, Barney, you get the football in his hands, just give him a little bit of open space. As we just saw, he can make you pay. And he wasn't the top option there, but check down, turned into first down, and then so. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To throw is gone. And he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion. So that sets up second and six. Here's gone. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Good throw, good catch. But I really like the, the drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that. Yeah, better against man than zone, or better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's a good job there, creating the contact, the foreseen completion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Already at the line, the 
this Philly offense set to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Mike, just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. On play action, Wentz. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of sea ball. Yeah. Now wins. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 22. Golf. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Derek Barnett able to be in for the sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now gone. Carrying it out deep for Woods. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 37 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, Help is going to be a little bit late getting there, and he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Freeman, he's been busy today. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the steal. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Following the pick up of four, here's second and six. Freeman again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two, now third down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Well, the first down marker is here on third. Now it's gone. They got him in. It's Woods. Touchdown, LA. Robert Woods. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. As his guys are able to regain the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine, 
from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's Bryant for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And they'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Let's go! Let's go! Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They find themselves down 17 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before it can even get started. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Go, go. You ain't doing nothing, though. You ain't doing nothing. Play action. Now wins. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. That one broken up by David Long on the defensive end. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. Is it, about is it, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Go about winning the turnover battle as a visiting team as an underdog. You were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. It's a game of 16 and an eagle first down. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a dancey type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Wentz on the draw, leads it for Sanders. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pants, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So I'm through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards is the pickup, good for an eagle first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Shotgun now for Wentz. It's caught by Jackson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move them. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Eagles on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. They gave up the completion there, but this is what their defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Philadelphia picking up the first on a game of 
15. He's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything. Change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you get back to what you wanted to do before. 40 yards on the completion, and it sets up the third down. Now Wentz on third down. And Bob, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Just roll his Wentz. Possession of a turnover on downs. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on down. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. They're on the defensive side of the ball, though. Any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. And for the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Could be the tight end. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20 yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. So the previous play, a big help, is now to have the first and 10 up at the 20. He's gone. And this is caught off the deflection. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. A 20th carry now for Freeman. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. It's a game of 11 and a first down L.A. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open. And the eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Yeah, he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Bryant tacks on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away. And off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? 
the decision to go for it on fourth down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, oh, I got yeah. confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. The throw over the middle, taken in. Heavy block down on the 30 yard line after a game of six. Six yards is the pick up. The middle move to the third down. It's not throw. And that will be incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. To throw, it's Reigns. It's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for a strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Back to throw, gone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That time trying to find Gerald Everett. Third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. Out of the gun. Gone. Taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. A 55-yard down. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And as we appear at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start. But since it really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence that if you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases. You know, find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz, and he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Aaron Donald in there to take him down in the clock and roll. Remember to all my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that. Down to none. Yes, yeah, exactly right. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So second down to this defense. He's certainly going to sell out to stop the run. Kramer. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. So with that new three weeks in the books and they creep above 500 now, two and one. You know, I played with a guy once after taking a knee at the end of the game, and he came in and grabbed the equipment manager and said, make sure you wash that spot, you know, special, because I just took a knee for a That tells you how much guys enjoy that, because getting a win, no one takes it for granted. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. 
So for L.A., it's back-to-back -back victories now after the Week 1 defeat as they move to 2-1. and one. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they too will exit with a